Good sound in film has the ability to transform a scene and suck the listener in. It's a subtle part of filmmaking that makes the movie come alive. Whether it's the sound of a monster breaking into the room in a horror movie, or the sounds of battle in an epic war film, it takes a special kind of artist to add these details to each scene. Today, we're here in Full Cell's dubbing stage with engineer Mike Orlowski. Hey, Mike. How's it hey, going? Hey, Tracy. How are you doing? Wonderful. So this is the dubbing stage. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Tell me about the dubbing stage. What happens here? Well, here we're going to mix the, the final sound for, for a movie. So we have uh, this console in front of us here. This is a Harrison MPC-3. Very nice. So today we're, you have a, a scene from a student film, I guess? Yep, we're working on a student film, and uh, what we're going to have you do today is provide some Foley sound effects for us. It's actually going to be your footsteps and your movement for the wishes and the knife and the sword movement. Do the actors usually do their own Foley? No, we have Foley artists. Foley artists? Yes. Wow. And that's what you're going to be today. So we have to go record sound effects. You come in with me? No, we have Ben Conley. He's a Foley walker. He's going to run you through it. Oh, okay. Sweet. So where do I meet him? Well, first got to get you changed. Oh. Well, now that I've changed my clothes, it was time to meet with Ben, the dub stage Foley walker. So, so tell me, why, why did Mike make me wear this silly get up here? That's a good question. It's because you want to wear, when doing Foley, things that make as little noise as possible. So jeans, things like that, are very loud fabrics. Oh, OK. So if you wear tights or like loose-fitting cotton, they don't make as much noise. Oh, OK. So explain what is going on here. What is this setup? Well, we have sort of a Foley pit here. OK. And what a Foley pit is, is foley you're going to have uh, different surfaces that occur naturally. Huh. And basically what we're going to do is try and recreate every movement sound in a, in a shot. So these are just like tile that you'd buy like for your backyard and whatever? Yep. Oh, exactly how weird. What it is. And then... And what's this gravel? This is actually kitty litter. Oh, and it nasty. Gives, <laughs> it gives us a nice, uh, sandy, gritty sound. So... And, oh, how cool. Mm -hmm. And then we also have what we call uh, specifics or props okay. for Anytime you need a metal -y sound, huh. short, a sword string right there. All right, I had the tights, I had the tools. Now it was time to match our footsteps to the actor's on-screen movements. Uh, at the beginning, you'll have three beeps. Okay. Oh, okay. One, two, three. That's it? That's it. Well, was that good enough or did, did someone have to check it? Well, usually your recordist would check it. Oh, okay. So now we see they're swinging swords around, right? Uh-huh. So we're going to need both some metal clinks. Okay, some of okay. these. Okay, so when the swords go, mm -hmm. you don't want to help me? I think you got it. All right, hang on. Now it was time to record the sword swishes. As a first timer, I thought I'd play it safe and let Ben take a crack at it. Sorry. <laughs> Foley is very scary. Do not very try dangerous. this at home. Very, very dangerous. Next, we use a cloth for the rustling sound of the actors' costumes. So Ben, so now once we record all the all the sounds, now what? Well, a lot of times you'd have somebody to edit and make sure it's in sync with the picture, and then you would mix it into your film with the other sound effects, music, and dialogue. So what do we do? We go to the to, an, to a recording studio? Yes, you go to a mixing studio and uh, to add it to your mix. Okay. So, Mike. Yes. Um, that was fun, by the way, that Foley stuff that I did with Ben. You had fun with Ben? Yeah. That was that was pretty cool. I didn't like the outfit you put me in, but... It was for your own good. I bet. So, okay, so now we're in this room. What's going on in this room? All right, so we're, we're here on Pro Tools, and we we have all of your recorded takes here in front of us. The, so uh, each the effect hits. we did is in a different track? It's on a different track, as he was talking about, the different layers. Okay. Uh, and they all come together, and if we take a listen... You hear the footsteps, the key yeah. letter. Ooh, that's my steps. There's your steps, and there's Ben's, the last two steps right yeah. there. Nice! All right, so what we've had our editor do is we... Because most of the, stout, the sounds that we have here are dry, that mean they don't sound like they're in the environment because this is supposed to be this old dungeon. So we've gone in and added uh, a thing that we call reverb, which adds echo to it. Okay. Add a little bit of music, and uh, this is the final product. Let's see it. Well, that's how it's done. After learning about all the work that it takes to record Foley for film, one thing's for sure. You'll never watch a movie the same way again.